Hello all my lovely viewers. I am so excited for today's video. It may not be the most action-packed thing in the world, but to me it means something. I'm going to put the final etch on that guitar strap today. So while I am getting the machine set up and the program running, I'd like to take this opportunity to say welcome to Kate Bonnie Country. And thank you to all of my viewers and subscribers for joining me today. I had planned on showing you the test pattern, which is why I had that separate piece of leather cut to the same size as the guitar strap. But then I decided you really don't want to see another 10 minute video from me. You just don't. They're getting too long. So we're going to cut out the middleman get this machine set up, run it at ludicrous speed, and go for the final etch. I hope you've noticed that I've changed my channel name and my handle. My channel name is now Kate Bonnie Country, and my handle is at Kate Bonnie Country. The original channel name of Chaos Control with Kate Bonnie just did not seem to suit the direction I've taken this channel in. I want this channel to focus on three things. First and foremost, I live in the country. I live about four miles outside of a small town. I have to travel 10 miles to shop at an actual grocery store. So I want to focus on the unique advantages and disadvantages of living out in the country. Secondly, I am a 51 year old woman who has started over and I'm trying to start a home based business. So I want to focus my channel on the struggles that come along with that. And finally, I want to focus on mental health. And that can be anything from discussions of depression to how we react when we witness bad behavior in others or possibly even what causes them to behave so poorly. Since the focus of the channel has changed, a name change seemed in order. I will keep all of the Chaos Control videos online and they will be placed in a playlist titled Chaos Control Archives. We're moving into the final stretch of the etching process. I do want to let you know that prior to putting the guitar strap on the etching machine, I did spray a little distilled water onto the leather. The laser literally burns into the leather. Adding a little moisture beforehand will protect the unetched areas from additional damage. Once the design was completed and I removed the guitar strap from the machine, I again sprayed it with distilled water and blotted it with a cloth. This was to remove some of the excess charred material and prepare the leather for painting and finishing. Finally, I used a leather conditioner over the design to help re-moisturize the leather. And this is what it looked like when I finished. I'm quite happy with how the design turned out. Of course, the guitar strap is not complete. I still want to add a little paint to put some color into the flames and the wolf itself and I still need to dye the natural leather color to match the back half of the strap that I've already completed. Unfortunately, that's gonna be a couple of days before I can get to that because I cannot find my leather paint. With my home business being shut down due to COVID, my workshop turned into a storage space. So far, you've only seen a tiny fraction of my workshop. What you are not seeing is the piles and piles of crap. I have to sort through to find my leather paints. And that's all I have for you today. So please remember to give this video a thumbs up, ring that subscribe bell, leave a comment down below. Your comments are very important to me. Please tell me what I did right, what I did wrong, and what you would like to see me do in the future. And finally, please share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.